catch a can. Catch a can? You were a catch a can already? Okay, it gives me an idea what I might be able to talk about here. Uh, well, we'll talk about Juno. I'd say going to talk about catch a can in Juno, of course, so I reckon I can have that honor. Uh, Juno was founded like in 1880. Uh, it was founded because they found gold here. Uh, two fellows come over from Sitka and made an initial uh, examination of the land here to find gold. They came at the wrong tide. It was a very low tide. They were just checking the creeks wherever the uh, tide had just let out and they didn't find any. Uh, the local Klingon Indians did knew where the gold was and they were the chief Cowie contacted their financier on Sick Island and said, I can show them where the gold is. The, lean, uh, the claimants used uh, gold. They had to use for gold. They used it for musket balls. So obviously they did not have the same value of gold that uh, the settlers did or the people who came here looking for gold. Uh, there's been um, met a lot of gold taken out of your money. And I'm sorry I don't have the exact figures, but I do know that this mountain to right here, Mount Roberts, where the tram goes up, uh, there's more oh, miles of here. mining tunnels in that mountain stones than there are roads in Juneau. And uh, across, the, across the water there, you came in on the Gastineau Channel, across the water there, that's uh, Douglas Island. And there was a, um, uh, somebody came up, a uh, double mine, a uh, pile gold there, constructed a mine, it was called the Treadwell Mine. And it, the, this was in the 1880s. And he sold in the 1890s for like $1.7 million, which was a vast fortune then. And he took his money and he went to Southern California and invested in real estate. And uh, Mr. Treadwell went broke, investing in what is now known as Hollywood, California. Huh. Very classic case of being in the right place at the wrong time. Uh, straight ahead is a, uh, a saloon of note. It is the Red Dog Saloon. It's been here since the early days of Juno. And inside, uh, when in the early days, some notables came through here, one of them being Wyatt Earp. Uh, Wyatt Earp went, went and checked his gun at the door one time, which was required by the city of Juneau, and he forgot to get it. So if you stop in later to the Red Dog Saloon, you can see Wyatt Earp's gun sitting behind the bar uh, in a frame. Uh, they have a unique drink there. It's something called a duck fart. Oh, no way. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> And the uh, story was that someone, when they were testing the recipe, some woman uh, went into fits of that. <laughs> so they said this would be a good uh, drink, name for the drink. It is, um, the, there's three layers to it. The first layer is the Bailey's, the second layer is Kahlua, and the final layer is Crown Royal. Ooh, sounds good. All right, we got some takers here. <laughs> And that's uh, sawdust on the floor in there. They try to keep it looking really old time. And the reasons the old time saloon keepers put sawdust on the bar was for a couple of reasons. Number one, when the fights broke out, it was a lot easier to clean the blood up. And also that the um, miners in those days would pay for a lot of their drinks with their gold. And sometimes gold is not in, uh, necessarily in nice little nuggets. It's in uh, flake form, uh, and tends to be really small. So when they were paying for their drinks, uh, they were losing a lot of some gold on the floor. And uh, once a week or so, they would take all that sweep, all that sawdust out of there and put it in water. And of course, uh, gold would sink to the bottom and the sawdust would float away and they would get a little bit more for their drinks.
I'm watching. Say hi, Tanya. No.
Doing the duck fart. Famous duck fart. Oh, that's good. I was waiting for some nasty. Oh, that's good. Johnny's gonna have one more. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I like. going too, John. Say what? I saw the lift going right past here.